Now, the turnout for the rallies around America shows students want change now. Their demands elevated following the deadly Uvalde school shooting just last month. Fox 13's Jennifer Dowling talked with students in the North Sound about how they hope they can make a difference. A crowd of more than 300 took to the streets in Everett to call on lawmakers to combat gun violence. Young students marched alongside adults. We've done lockdowns, like where we have to find a spot in the room to hide if there is a shooter. Owen Wiles held a sign that quoted the Lorax. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing's going to get better. It's not. It means a lot to me because I love the movie. He says kids shouldn't have to live in fear. There's a lot of people losing their life that shouldn't be because they didn't want to. And it's people basically just taking control of other people's lives. And it's just sad. Connery Glanz helped to organize a similar march back in 2018. I just think that the politicians aren't listening to the students and aren't doing enough to protect us. The founder of Snohomish County Indivisible said Washington state legislators have made some progress, but more needs to be done. We're moving forward with common sense legislation. The one thing that is really important for people to understand is that we're one election away from not having those regulations in place. Because if we don't keep those elected officials in place that keep these, these laws in place, they will go away and we're back to square one again. Representative Rick Larson says the U.S. House just passed legislation nationally and now it's the Senate's turn. The majority of the U.S. House of Representatives this last week passed the Protecting Our Kids Act, which will raise the age limit to own a semi-automatic from 18 to 21. Connery says they'll hold more marches until lawmakers listen. We don't like having to hold these, but until this nation you know, ends gun violence, stops school shootings, we'll continue to show up and speak out. In Everett, Jennifer Dowling, Fox 13 News.